Voices in the Dark Entertainment. Um, there we go. Hello, and welcome to Amanda's Movie Night. We're gonna go to credits, we're gonna check it out. The developer is Jeremy Fisher. Uh, the director, writer, and herald is Dylan Fisher. Oh, we got, we got brothers working on this. I'm assuming that Amanda might be the voice actor, so Ellie Abbott. Something like that. And I don't know what about the rest, so uh, yeah. Wait, is there a voice actor? If not, then I don't know what Amanda Abont got to do with me. But let's go and start the game. It's very clear what is this is about. Uh, uh oh. It's lagging. It doesn't want to do what I want to do, which is play. I got the... Uh, damn, what a week. It's gonna feel so good to just relax and watch one of my old favorite movies. I can't start the show just yet. Gotta prepare a few things first. Can I change the resolution? Also, yes, I said it. Change the resolution. What's the other option? I mean, I guess I could try this. Texture quality, I'm gonna turn to medium. How does this better? I'm not sure if I got to change the resolution. I start the microwave first. I need the popcorn. Get the soda from the fridge. It says start the microwave. Can't have a movie night without popcorn. That is so <laughs> far away. Or a blanket. I'll check the hallway closet. The hallway closet. I don't know why this door is open. And I don't like it. Oh! Is... Oh, that's right. The blankets are in the dryer. The dryer? That's gotta be in the basement. Right? Where's the wash washing machine? What? Are you? T uh oh. So what's How was the front door open? Huh? I thought I locked it. Well, you did not. 
I won't be able to relax until I know all openings are locked. <laughs> is, is that a handprint? What could have left that? <sighs> nah, it's gotta be one of those damn teens again. Thinking they can ruin my movie night? <laughs> no way. I earned this. They're gonna have to try harder than that. Yeah, the, the monster is gonna have to try better than that. Locked one. Instructions are a bit unclear now. What? This is locked the wind. Okay, that's the last one, but I didn't see any signs of someone breaking in. Oh. I hate when the wind blows that door open. Really? It gave me such a scare. <laughs> oh, oh, this is too much. I need to go sit down on the couch. She not close the curtain. The movie's gone. How was that possible? Because someone stole it. You're never gonna watch your popcorn's gonna become cold and you're gonna die a miserable death. Well, maybe not miserable, but sorry. Uh, you're gonna die, um... Uh, a, a, a terrifying death. It's gonna be in the basement, by the way. There's nowhere else it would be but in the basement. Now, where in the basement? I happen to not know. Why can I? Why can I move the crate? That that does not seem like a thing I like to see. <laughs> if only I had a flashlight. Not nah, just kidding. I don't desperately need a flashlight. Why can I move crates? I don't know. I really thought the tape would be down here. I don't see it. So I have to check other places. There's this um, paper thing, but well, let me see it. Okay, so where it's got to be upstairs then. Who's that? It's got to be upstairs then. Oh, door is open. You're not going to question that? Okay. I didn't have access to this room. Barely seen here. What? This tape seems similar to uh, the tapes from the tape game. Just a nightmare. Oh, thank God. Whoa! Hey! Calm down. Calm down. What? Don't freak out. I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> I'm Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanna talk. Really? Talk about what? Please! Don't mess with me like this! Just leave me alone! Don't worry. I won't be coming back. I won't be bothering you. Or anyone. Never again. Then why are you here? Wait! You're really just going to leave? Just like that? Yeah. Normally I do all kinds of scary stuff. Tap on the windows, open doors, hide stuff. Make you question your sanity. But... I, I'm just going through some mental stuff right now, I guess. And, um... I just... I can't do this anymore. What? Um... I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired of being seen as a monster. Boy, are you talking? What? Believe it or not, I've tried to be friendly. 
tried being myself, tried to show others that I'm not just a beast. You want to watch a movie? <laughs> All anyone sees is a big scary creature that they scream at. So I became what people saw me as. Someone who makes people Something question to be their beard. sanity? Something to be hated. Something that deserves to be alone. I didn't ask to be this way, you know. But you the chose to be this way. The showed me that no matter what, I will always be seen. Y you chose this way, though. Like, what? So maybe it's best if the world never sees I just know again. the character I have is just gonna straight up be like, you. Wanna watch a movie? You didn't ask. No one does. I'll leave you be. Hey! Wanna stay? Watch a movie with me? Got it! Really? I knew it! Yeah, I could use the company. Do you like romantic comedies? Oh, bail now, she's not about to ask this guy out. <laughs> seen a movie before but I do like romantic stories how do you know about it well have a seat <laughs> can I get you anything water cocoa cocoa would be lovely how it's already in there Got no idea. Hello there. Coffee table. Coffee table? Is that what this is? That place all right? I'm confused. He's walking. Here. It's not the best, but it will warm you up. This is wonderful. It's much better than what I normally drink. What would that be? And what's that? River water? Human blood. Nah, he's joking. Uh, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> you should see the look on your face. <laughs> Alright, you got me. Are you proud of yourself for that one? <laughs> I am. So what do I call you? Do you have a name? In my native language, I am called... <laughs> which, translated into human language, is... Harold. Really? Harold. Yeah. Harold? <laughs> What's wrong with Harold? Nothing. You just don't look like a Harold. But it's a fine name for you. My name's Amanda. Does this would look like a herald? It's a pleasure to what do you meet mean you by me? that? Thank you for being so kind to me. And Amanda, you don't You're look welcome. like an Amanda. So. Thanks for not killing me. <laughs> don't mention it. I don't think that, I don't think that guy so kills. So if you aren't going to scare people anymore, what will you do? I had a dream once. But it'll never happen. Not for something like well, that. Well, this is a video of hope okay. today, so... Now you have to tell me about this dream. No, it's dumb. Is it though? Hey, dreams aren't dumb, including yours. Tell me. Okay, but you can't laugh. I won't. Alright. I... I want to be a pizza delivery guy. Fantastic. What? Amanda! You said you wouldn't laugh. I, I, I'm not laughing. 
I really? was very surprised to you hear You chuckled. Saying, Why do you want to deliver pizza? I've stalked many neighborhoods throughout my life. Okay. Sometimes, I see a pizza guy going up to the houses. And I see the faces of the people who open the doors. How do you know what a pizza guy is? They always look so happy to see him. Well, to be fair, it does have his own native Just people. Once. I'd like to know how it feels to have someone excited to see me. Well, Harold, I'll be excited to see you for our next movie night. Really? Yeah! This has been the most interesting movie night of my life, and we haven't even started the movie yet. Thank you, Amanda. Anytime. Now let's just enjoy the show. A show of staring at each other's eyes. Oh, I was not expecting this. You're not even sitting on a couch. This is a very laggy show, eh? Yeah, maybe I'll talk a bit too much during the dialogue, so that could be my bad. Uh, anyways... Oh, that's why I said the Herald SFX. That's the voice of Harold, I think. Uh, Gian Luca Sitchi. Or is it Gian Luca Sitchi or something? Uh. Anyways, that's it. Goodbye, and have a fun time.